Hello again. I've been working on my house a little bit. Um, because the monsters were giving me a really hard time. Uh, so <laughs> it's fully enclosed for the most part. Um, and as you can probably already hear, I've been working on the cow farm a little more than uh, I left off, so let's go check that out real quick. While I was doing that, the grass that I was trying to grow over here finally spread to my house, so I can go ahead and break this. It was honestly pretty fast. I don't know if that's just uh, a testament to how much time I've been just kind of tinkering around here or what, but um, yeah, the rest of that should just grow on its own now, so that's cool. Um, I did finish up this chamber. Um, and started breeding some cows over here and oh man that's really loud I'm gonna uh, turn that down a little bit that's better um, so I found another herd of cows off in that direction and I uh, got like four out of five of them in this tank, and I started breeding them. I take this um, shield off so that it doesn't get in the way for the video log. Um, and then I've been using this sign down here to keep track of how many cows I have in each chamber so far. Um, and I just added one to each chamber, so this needs to be changed now. Um, and I'm not sure exactly how many cows I want to uh, go for before I uh, break this. Uh, barrier that's not letting the, the babies fall through um, but I want it to be pretty efficient so I'm gonna let it go for a few more rounds um, and it's gonna be a really noisy farm by the end of it so I'm actually not too sure why I decided to build it right next to my house that was kind of a mistake in hindsight but oh well uh, it's probably not gonna last too long anyway yeah what is up with that <laughs> um, this is the farm I set up that I've been using to feed the cows. It's clearly nothing special. Um, but I didn't really want to spend too much time making anything fancy, so this is uh, just kind of something I've been waiting have grow while I've been doing other things. Uh, I guess I can take this down too because I don't really think I'm going to lead any more cows up here. I'm just going to breed the rest that I need. Uh, so I was doing some digging under my base and I found this cave here. See this one? Uh, 
Okay. This is what I was looking for. This would probably be a good time to take this out. Uh huh. Um, and I wanted to start recording before I uh, actually dug into this because I've never found one of these in survival before. This is my first one. Um, but I th think this is, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, an amethyst cluster, right? Because uh, it's got basalt and calcite, uh, some two new uh, stone variants that I haven't ever seen before. Oh, yep. Okay. Here it is. Cool. Block of amethyst. So a regular pick can mine in. I was kind of worried that uh, maybe I would need to silk touch it, but that is not the case. Um... And I think these blocks here are the ones that grow the crystals. Uh, so I don't think I want to mine these. Um, I'm actually going to avoid mining most of this until uh, I know how exactly I can uh, farm it if possible. Because that would be pretty cool to have. Uh, an amethyst farm right underneath my base. It makes a really cool sound when you walk on top of it. I like that a lot. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. And I like these stone variants as well. Uh, these seem like they could be really useful for building. This calcite specifically is a lot nicer than diorite. It's kind of like a white stone variant that's a um, little busier than quartz, but not quite as crazy looking as, as diorite, which uh, in my opinion is not very, uh, not very good. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was uh, pretty cool to find. Uh, I think I'm just gonna keep caving for a little while and I will uh, post back if I find anything else that's cool or notable in any sort of way. I haven't been making any armor because it's actually pretty tough to find iron for me in this new world generation. Um, and at this point, I think I'm able to just make a full set of diamond armor. Like, it's kind of unbalanced, but I think um, it's significantly easier to find diamonds in this new world generation than it is to find iron. Um, at least the way that I'm used to mining, so... I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I'm probably going too low to start, but I just really never find caves at the ideal iron level. And even now I thought I was at a fairly decent one. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. I can make an XP farm out of this. Um, but yeah, it's just, um, I swear for every like, uh, strand of iron I find there's like two to three diamond strands in the same vicinity uh, so I'm just always hurting for iron and uh, diamonds are kind of useless to me at this point um, I need to stop compulsively lighting things up let's see what was in that did I lose it? Uh-oh. <laughs> now here it is. Uh, nothing really special. 
I do want to say is kind of like a disclaimer if anybody is watching this um, and if nobody is watching this I guess oh cool another zombie spot <laughs> Um, I guess if nobody's watching this, then I shouldn't feel embarrassed to say it anyway, because nobody's watching this, so who's gonna make fun of me, right? Um, but I'm kind of just trying to explore the game myself again after, uh, quite a bit of time away from it. So, a lot of the redstone stuff that I make while doing this, at least at first, uh, is not going to be my own designs. Um, and I'm not going to credit uh, anything in like a description or anything like that, just because this isn't a series that's made for the sake of content. It's just kind of like a, a time capsule. So uh, if I think of it, I will... Uh, say that person's name in the moment of the design I'm using, but otherwise I'm probably not going to worry about it too much. There's nothing good in any of these. That really sucks. Um, but yeah, I, I do want to get to a point eventually where I am able to make my own redstone designs, because uh, I kind of want to learn the logic. Uh, but as of right now, I'm not very good at it, so that's just a, a fair warning for that. Oh, this is really cool. Uh, this is something I haven't found before either. It looks like... Um, I think they're glow berries? Uh, I've never found these in survival, and I've actually, like, not really been keeping up with the game since these were introduced, so I have no idea what these do. I would assume they're a food source and, um, a light source. Uh, and I think I saw a slime jumping around here, so... Maybe this is an underground biome that... Oh no! Spawn slimes more frequently. Where'd he go? I promise you I saw one. Maybe it's gone. Oh, it's an axolotl! Oh my gosh. Okay. I knew you could do that. Uh, now I really can't die. I am responsible for more than just myself. Oh, this is really cool. Wow. Oh, these are cool. Can probably use these. Who shoot? Who shoot? Oh, there's more. Oh, this is so cool. Um, these could probably be used as like a really cool like parkour sort of like thing. There you are. There's a lot more iron around here too. Yeah, I was just trying to find my way back home and uh, I took a wrong turn, but this is really cool. I found this instead. Okay, so you can just pick these off the vine. That's really cool. Uh, and there's an amethyst cluster here. Is this the same one as earlier? Or a different one? I don't know. Uh, but I really like this area. I made it back home just to catch this guy. Red-handed. Right in the act of grief in my basement. What do you think you're doing, dude? I should not have 
than that. No, <laughs> he took it back. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, you just didn't know it bothered me, right? You didn't know I lived here? Yeah, he's actually kind of embarrassed. Okay, we'll call it even. That guy actually wasn't too bad after all. I kind of liked him. So yeah, overall that was a pretty successful mining trip. Uh, everything noteworthy I got is in this chest right here. Um, the most important thing in uh, that I was actually trying to look for uh, is this 42 iron here because I was completely out of iron. Uh, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. But I kind of want to mess around with redstone in the next few episodes, so I'm probably going to um, use some of this for hoppers, and I might make armor. Uh, I have 22 smelted iron as well, so I got um, about a stack of, of iron on me in total. Um, and then I also have uh, some more redstone as well. Uh, I'm going to look into what I can do with these amethyst uh, blocks and shards too. I think I'm able to build a farm out of the geode down below, but uh, I, I don't want to start going at it before I know the mechanics, because uh, I have no idea how they work right now, and I'm kind of scared of messing it up, uh, because I found those two in a pretty close vicinity to one another. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know how rare that is, but... Um, yeah, I think it's pretty neat. And then the cow farm is just about done as well. I have uh, 15 in this left chamber here and 14 in the right chamber. So uh, I think I decided I'm probably going to go for about uh, 20 in each before I uh, decide that I'm done with it. And I guess I could probably uh, technically make a third chamber on this. Uh, backside here so maybe I can put another 20 cows right there um, which will give me about 15 uh, small cows per uh, yield which would be pretty cool I got about as many cows as I think I want to have. Uh, there is 20 in the left chamber and 20 in the right chamber now. Uh, so the last thing I need to do is break this block right here and put a sign up so that the, uh, the small cows can fall through this hole and the big cows cannot. Um, I'm gonna have to wait like maybe half an hour before I do it though because uh, some of these cows are still small so uh, if I do it right at this moment the small ones are gonna just fall right through um, and I don't want that because then there will be less than 20 in each chamber um, and then I also need to get a lava bucket for this dispenser right here because um, that's gonna be the main way that I kill and cook the meat before it gets dropped into this chest down below. Uh, so I'm gonna run over to the nether and see if I can uh, find a pool of lava real quick that I can just snag a, a small bucket from. Um, but I did just briefly, whoa! Oh, that's not good. Oh, what? Why is this guy mad at me? Okay. Shoot. Good thing I brought iron over here. Uh, I did not expect that. Okay. I need to find some gravel. Um, but yeah, I just uh, super briefly stepped over here to grab some quartz. I didn't actually explore this place very much. The portal did land us in a really cool location, though. We have both types of nether wood available to us right away, which is really cool. Uh, that's something I really was excited to build with, so 
Uh, yeah, that'll be pretty fun. Here's the lava that we want to grab. Uh, but now I also need gravel. <laughs> um, and I don't actually have any gold armor on me either, so I'm kind of scared of dying right now. Oh man, the sounds in this dimension are really spooky. I really like what they did with this place since the update. Unfortunately, I didn't have too much of my important stuff on me, uh, but I did have my first diamond pick and some of my first diamond tools, so it's kind of sad that those are just gone now. I meant to uh, save them and maybe put them in a frame or something somewhere, but nope, they uh, got blown up by a ghast, so that's that. Honestly, just do it, man. <laughs> faster way home anyway. Yeah, I really like my skin, but this uh, new version of the game is really hard to navigate without at least some armor, so I'm caving in. I'm just gonna go ahead and make myself at least a partial set of iron armor. Um, And hopefully that'll <laughs> make it so I don't die so much. I also have another shield, so I'm actually prepared to take uh, take on the elements this time around. This is sort of awkward. Okay, this is the moment of truth. We are pretty much completely done with this cow farm here. Uh, the last thing I need to do now is just replace this block with a sign that makes it so the babies can fall through and the adults cannot. Uh, and I've been waiting here for a little bit just to see if I can hear any of the smaller ones uh, mooing and all of this noise um, and I can't really they all sound like they're bigger so I think this is about how I want it to be these guys in both chambers Oh, that's weird. Some of them are suffocating. I think I might have stuffed it too much. Okay. It's interesting. Uh oh. The babies are not falling. Something's up. Alright, I see where I went wrong there. Uh, so apparently there's a new variant of the sign that I didn't know about. Aha. The hanging sign. Uh, so this is what I'm going to need to uh, block off the water here. Because I need it to be facing uh, this way, right? Uh, this way. Yeah, some of them died, so this is probably not accurate anymore. 
one of these guys did get down, so that's a good sign. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, so I think it does work, it's just um, some cows died in the process, so it wasn't quite crowded enough to actually push these guys down below. But the babies do fit through. Um, now that uh, I think we're back to 20 on each side, uh, it's going to go ahead and uh, push them back down into this chamber. Uh, so you can see there is more than one here. Uh, now I can just come and breed these guys up top every once in a while. And the uh, babies will fall down below. They'll grow up, and eventually when they do I can press this button to use the lava to cook them. Anyway, I think that's where I'm gonna uh, call off this log here. I accomplished pretty much everything I want to uh, for today. So uh, this feels like a pretty natural stopping point. I think next time I want to explore the surface a little bit more because uh, I was uh, kind of veering off today um, in ways that I didn't really expect to uh, just by getting lost and I found some pretty cool stuff around my uh, surroundings so I tried my best to avoid it um, and I think next time I want to kind of walk around and, and take a deeper look at the area around us because I actually think this is a pretty cool seed uh, there's going to be a good variety of things to see uh, so yeah until next time